65 years after a mystery man was found dead on Summerton Beach, Channel 9 can reveal explosive claims about who he was and how he died. Two women have opened up about a family secret, telling 60 Minutes about a possible affair between two spies that might have ended in murder. Finally, living connections to one of Adelaide's coldest cases. Summerton Man is potentially my grandfather. He's called Summerton Man because no one knows his name. Found slumped against rocks at Summerton Beach in December 1948, there were no clues about who he was or how he died until now. There's always that fear that I've thought maybe she was responsible for his death. Kate Thompson is referring to her mother, Jessica Thompson, a nurse long linked to the case. She said to me she knew who he was, but she wasn't going to to let that out of the bag, so to speak. When Summerton Man arrived in Adelaide a day before his death, he went by bus to Jessica's Glenelg home, not far from where his body was later found. Paper in his clothing had been torn from a poetry book, which also had Jessica's unlisted phone number scrawled inside. She had a dark side, and a very strong dark side. It was during the Cold War. Jessica spoke Russian and Kate suspects her mum and Summerton man were Soviet agents and the poetry book contained codes. There were spies everywhere, spy on spy, everywhere. And she told me that it was a mystery that was only known to a level higher than the police force. The question now, were Jessica and Summerton Man also lovers? Rachel Egan and her mother Roma say yes. Roma believes her late husband was the love child of Jessica and Summerton Man, making Rachel the mystery man's granddaughter. I'd rather find out the truth and, and deal with it and move on and, and have closure. Ben Avery is at Summerton Beach. And Ben, what's the next step in finally solving this case? Will Rachel Egan is calling for the body of the Summerton man to be exhumed from the cemetery so that DNA testing can be undertaken and it needs to happen soon so that uh, evidence cannot be lost. Now, first of all, though, what has to happen is the Attorney General, John Rowe, needs to give his approval and this is what he had to say this morning. Look, I'd have to consider any request that I received, but I don't think digging, digging up people willy-nilly is, is something I want to be a part of. But there's no doubt that all of these new twists and turns will certainly put more pressure on the Attorney General to change his mind on that. Will, we will have many more updates and much more on this story tonight in 60 Minutes. Thanks very much, Ben. Ben Avery there at Summerton Beach.